All right, there, everyone. <coughs> God. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start the video again. That'll do. That'll go. That's a good intro. Uh, <coughs> All right, I'm gonna do a beer review, and uh, it's a local one. I've got a bit of a local thing going on here. I've got a local bottle opener, local beer, and. Uh, yeah, oh God, I started choking as soon as I started talking then. Okay, so um, this is Fire Glow. Uh, I bet it won't focus on the label because as soon as my camera focuses on a face, it won't focus on anything else. I'm obviously so beautiful, it won't focus on anything apart from my own face. So this is uh, Fire Glow from Firebrick Brewery. This is a winter spiced, a spiced winter ale. And um, yeah, very close to me. When I go to the tip, my local tip to take some rubbish, I always stop off at the fire brick. Well, when it's open, sometimes it's not when I go. Um, it's just around the corner from the tip, and it's like a little, like, I guess it's like a little industrial unit, and it doesn't look like anything from the outside. Like, you wouldn't even know it was there unless you saw the little sign they put out. And, um, yeah, you can just rock up and go and buy some beers, and they're... The ones I've had from there have all been really nice, so I thought I would do a review. Um, also, the artwork on the bottles is nice, which I always like. Um, I, I like good artwork on beer, which is good beer inside, you know. And uh, yeah, the the artist as well is um, Wiley Beckett, and I checked out their Instagram. They've got loads of good art, but I don't I don't think the camera's going to focus on it. It's like a mysterious character going into a a house maybe a, like a pub yeah very atmospheric um yeah shame shame my camera doesn't want to focus because that, that would look amazing but just use your imagination i suppose i'm gonna try it out um so yeah fabric brewery from bladen Nantine, just around the corner from the tip at bladen so if you want to go and find it that's where it is um or I think you can order them online as well. Um, so, the artwork for our mystical range of beers has been created by the illustrator Wiley Beckett. We gave Wiley quite a, quite a challenge with Fire Glow. We asked for a strange traveller, maybe Saint Nick, but maybe not. Um, seeking rest and sanctuary from the mysteries of the night, he opens an indoor, allowing the warmth from firelight to flood out. We think she nailed it. Um, blah, blah blah blah. Spiced with sweet cinnamon. Sweet. Oh, fuck, I can't speak. You know, it's, it's the middle of the night. I don't know why I'm recording this. I'm, I'm half asleep. <laughs> sweet spiced with cinnamon bark, all spice berries, and black cardamom in the mash. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. It might be a bit too, uh, too spicy or too sweet for me. Um, blah blah. The complex grain gives a wealth of underlying malt flavors. British, German, and Czech Republic hops are added to complement rather than override the spice. But like I say, I don't know if I'm, I like this, but all the other beers I've had, I've liked. Even the ones that I usually don't like. I had one earlier. Let me just grab the... <sighs> but this was a sugar spun. It's a sweet stout and it was delicious. And I didn't think I was going to like it because I'm not like the biggest stout drinker and I don't like really sweet beers, but really nice. I had to get another can of that. Shame I didn't do a review on it really, but I just wanted a drink. Um, yeah, I'm a bottle opener, made from, made by a uh, handmade Tyneside, and it's made from a an old a bar of a local working men's club that was shut down, and the the wood from the bar was turned into various things like bottle openers. Yeah, I don't know, a bit of a local theme going on. So anyway, let's give this a go. I do like the artwork. I wish I wish I could have showed it off better. It doesn't smell too like spicy. Like I imagined it to smell like a mulled wine or something, but no, it doesn't. It's not too strong yet. So yeah, I'll give it a pour. Not too much of a head on it. Looks very carbonated. Not like what I was expecting really. I thought it was going to be a bit... I don't know, it looks carbonated. It almost looks like... 
I don't know, like a fizzy Ribena or something, you know, red. I expected it to be like, um, like more like a, like a stout sort of thing, like a bit sort of thicker and more sort of heady and throffy, frothy, whatever. But now it looks like pop, doesn't it? Look at the colour of that. Wow, that looks really interesting. And very Christmassy looking as well, so that's, I guess that's a, a bonus, so. Smell wise, it's it doesn't smell like really like super spiced, like I say, like. But you're getting like the hints of it, just on there. It's like the. It, it smells. It smells lush. But I was expecting like you know when you open like a tub of allspice and you take a smell, and it's just like it's a bit overpowering. It's not like that. It's like, you can smell like the malts, and then you can smell the the spices in there, and it's just. I don't know, it smells good. Oh. Wow, that is... The taste of that just makes me think of Christmas. It just, yeah, it just makes me think mince pies and all that. and But it, it isn't... It's not sweet. It's way bit more bitter than I expected. Um, I don't know what I expected from a spice to be. I did expect it. I think I just expected it to be like sweet and cloying and like the spices would be like sort of overpowering. Um, but no, that that is very nice. And the carbonation as well. Yeah, that's just right. The only thing, the only, my only co complaint so far is there's no head on it. The head has just vanished completely. I like, I like a bit of head, you know. So, uh, that, that so far that's my only complaint. But the flavors in there, um, it's got a kind of, um, I don't know if it's the carbonation or if it's got a bit of an astringency to it, which um, kind of makes your mouth sort of pucker a bit. It's not from the bitterness, it's more from the uh, a sensation that I, I, I don't know how to describe. Maybe it is like an astringence, you know, like you get that sort of taste, like uh, I, I don't know. It's too, it's too late to do a beer review. I don't know why I'm doing it really. I just fancied a drink. Fancied making a video. These aren't professional reviews, you know. Yeah, you can taste you can taste the spices in there, but it's it tastes like a, it, it it tastes like a beer. You know what I mean? I didn't want something where it just tasted like a some kind of gimmicky sort of over the top spiced thing, and it ends up not really tasting like a proper beer. This this is like I don't know. I'd say it tastes like a beer first. And then it take, and then the spices come second, and they just sort of, they're just at a right level to complement complement the malts, um, the malts and the hops in there. It's just I don't know, just 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 nice, and it it does it it like that first sip, it would just put me in like the Christmassy spirit. You know what I mean? Like it just sort of, it just sort of conjured up like I. One of like, the strongest memories I have of Christmas is um, like, I think it was like w when I was a kid, every like Boxing Day, we'd drive down from where I lived in Wales down to like my family who live in the Midlands of England. And we'd go there and, and there was just like this really like warm atmosphere and all the family would get together. And um, it's something I miss from my childhood, really, that sort of thing. But um, it just instantly sort of give me that sort of feeling like that that sort of memory that sort of sensation like that that warming like um familial feel i guess oh, i don't know who knows what i'm talking about you know some some when you taste something or smell something then it like triggers a memory or a, 
feeling inside it it was just like that like i was back i was back as a kid not that i drank beer when i was a kid but you know it just gave me that christmasy feeling yeah that is that is comforting comforting and it's strange that they get the kind of flavors into a beer which is quite kind of thin i'd say quite quite carbonated and um you know it's got the look of like a, a, a bottle of pop or something so it's not like i expected definitely not i expected something like really like a thick mouth feel to it and a, a real bitter sort of taste but bitter and sweet but it's it's not like that it's 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 nice refreshing and Christmassy yeah okay I'm finally in the Christmassy spirit and uh yeah I hope you like the review I, I haven't been doing them that much recently but I've got a few more of these a few more beers from this brewery so I might do some and one I picked up from Home Bargains, which might be interesting as well. So I'll probably do some more reviews in the next few couple of weeks or days or whatever, whenever I feel like. Yeah, that is nice. It's got... It's like that, yeah, it's like that sort of clove sort of taste. Has it got cloves in it? Maybe this, maybe it's the black cardamom. I don't know. It's nice though. Good, good beer. I recommend. And everything I've had from this brewery has been good. There's, there's a few really good breweries up here. Anarchy Brew, Wyland Brewery, um, Firebrick Brewery now. Good, good stuff. yeah and it's going to be a weird christmas this year because it's all bloody social distance and all that crap when when that all this lockdown stuff first started started this year it was quite interesting i'm not saying it was good but it was interesting at least because it was different Every, you know life suddenly changed and you was like what the hell's going on now i'm full sick of it fully sick of it it hasn't even got the novelty of it being like new it's just the same shit day in day out and uh I don't know what I don't know what Christmas is going to be like, but yeah, I'm fully sick of it now, and uh, I'm getting really fed up with it all. So <laughs> nice to have, nice to have some good and decent beer anyway. So cheers, everyone, and um, I hope everyone's uh, doing all right in lockdown. I've got back into my running because lockdown, I just got really like lazy and just did nothing, and then it started to affect my like mental health again. So uh, I've started running again and I'm back up to like faster than I was before, ever before. So I'm working my way up to doing 10k runs now. I'm, I'm doing like a, a 5k to 10k program on my phone, like an app. I did, I did couch to 5k to get back into running and now I'm doing 5k to 10k. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing to get myself through the lockdown and the uh, the stresses of, of, of everything. Ah. Yeah, good beer this. Honestly, this brewery is always... I haven't had a bad one from them yet. And uh, yeah, this is another good one. Really nice. Ah. I, I, feel, I feel like sometimes I can't really do them justice because I can't really find the right words to say what I'm tasting and stuff. But... Whatever, I liked it. Yeah, that's all you need to know, really. Cheers for watching. Catch you next time.